Welcome to Bourbon Riders. In today's first pour series, we're cracking open a Maker's Mark Private Selection. Now, if you looked at the Private Selection before, you know there's a lot of varieties depending on the staves that they put in the barrel to finish the process. This particular one is a uh, July 2021, July 2021 edition. Uh, it's 109.7 proof and the stave profile is five baked American pure, two seared French cavi, I believe that's correct, one Maker's Mark 46, and two roasted French Mendiant, Mendiant. I have no idea what that is. And zero toasted French spice. So that is the uh, stave selection that I picked for this bottle. You know, I've had this for about a month and uh, I'm a big fan of the Maker's Mark cast strength. And being this is right around that same strength, 109.7, the uh, typical cast is around 110. So right at the same mark. So I'm really hoping for some really wonderful flavors. All right, like in all videos, uh, we want to pop the top on this puppy. And what's different with this private selection versus most of the Maker's Mark is it looks like a screw top, but it's actually a cork. It's a little difficult to get out. Let's see if we can find a, get a nice pop here. Oh, nice pop, and a little sunshine came out. But that one was hard to get. Well, let's see if we can get some gurgling going on here. Oh, that's a nice healthy pour. <laughs> that's, that's a good two and a half ounces, I would say, maybe more. So I'm not used to the Maker's Mark having a cork. I'm spoiled. And of course, it don't want to go back in. No, man, I need to breathe. Dang. That is a pretty bottle, though. So, what's it say on the back of it? So it says, uh, finished with hand-selected staves at Maker's Mark, we create a wood finishing series to explore unique expressions of our signature Maker's Mark bourbon, originally crafted by my grandparents in 1953. Our private selection program allows for our most loyal fans to customize their own barrel with 10 hand-selected oak staves. This creates a very rare bourbon measured by the unique taste Im imparted by the combination of oak staves. And I've seen a couple videos of how they do that and you know a stave isn't what you think it is. It is uh, we just cut off a piece of a barrel and throw it in. Uh, it, it is big pieces of wood. Uh, they, to me, they look flat, and they put them on a big ring, and they get the 10 staves on that ring, and then put it in that barrel, then however long they finish that barrel, uh, I don't know, I assume it's weeks or months. I know uh, some people finish staves even longer than that. I assume Maker's Mark's doing quite a big quantity, so I would assume months, not years. But um, if it's half as good as the uh, cast strength is, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> I want it actually better than the cast strength. All right, we'll see. Uh, and it's, you know, the, it's not cheap. I'll put the price of what I paid for it. You know, but typically, um, you know, it's, you know, sixty dollars or above for the uh, for these uh, stave selection private selection these private selection stave profiles. So let's give it a nice swirl. Let it breathe a little bit. So let's see what the nose says. Ooh, wow! That has got some kick and aroma. A lot of kind of maple. Heavy spice. Certainly the bourbon comes through. Some oak. Wow, that really um, on our Rick on our Rick House scale of one to five, five being the highest. 
that's a four and a half. I mean, that aroma is strong. So let's give it some nice swirling here and see what kind of oil in it. Ooh. It's got legs, people. Interesting. Well, we're here for the taste. Cheers. Wow, and I mean that in all caps, exclamation point, exclamation point. I love the Maker's Mark cast strength. This is a step above it. Let's take another sip. A load of baking spice right up front. Maple, goodness, sweet, dark fruits. Wow. This, this definitely has the Maker's Mark flavor profile. What you get in the cast strength, if you like that. What you get in the 46, if you like that. If you said, okay, Let's take the Maker's Mark 46 and let's take the cast strength and let's mix it together and put it in a particle accelerator. What would come out? This. This is what would come out. Their private selection. That is crazy good. And you know, with the combination of the staves, there's so many flavors that you could put or finish into this bourbon, I can't imagine being able to taste all the different stay profiles that you could come up with. One more sip and uh, we're gonna go to final thoughts. Final thoughts. You know, when I bought this, I thought like, okay, this could be pretty good or I could have totally wasted my money you know, I like the Maker's Mark cast string at $40. I really like it. Why do I need to go to anything else? It's one of, it probably is my favorite go-to weeded bourbon. I will tell you now, it's still my go-to. What I will have after a hard day's work or if I just want to sit back and have a smooth weeded bourbon, more times than not, Sorry, Wellers, more times than not, it's the Maker's Mark cast strength. I just, I just love the flavor profile. On Saturday night, Maker's Mark cast strength is going to get booted to the curb in favor of this private selection. Now, I just bought a, a, a gift set, I guess you call it that, of three Maker's Mark private selections. It's 2019, 2020, 2021. Uh, some master distiller with Maker's Mark picked them out as being the best of those years. They're 375 uh, milliliter bottles. Let's see if I can't find a picture for you and put it on the screen. They just hit the shelves in the last week or two in the North Georgia area. So I picked one up because the case that's in is beautiful. And you get three private selections over three different years picked by someone that knows a lot more about bourbon than I do. And so I can't wait to get into those. We're going to, uh, uh, that's going to be a case we crack uh, when we get to our 500th subscriber. That is going to be our first pour series. Uh, it will be a three-part first pour series, three nights in a row, to celebrate our 500th uh, subscriber. So uh, you want to see that, get your friends on board to get them to subscribe because we're about 50 subscribers away from having 500. And wait till you see what we do when we get to 1,000. So we have a five-tier recommendation system you may have seen on previous episodes, but just because it's new, we'll explain it again. It's five levels, uh, level one being the highest, level five being, no, we don't recommend it at all. And we basically tell you whether we recommend you go out and buy this bourbon and whether you should buy it now or wait for it to go on sale. So we'll put that off to 
the side. And basically, I have to tell you that the way I feel about this bourbon, normally I would say level one. But I see the private selection all over the place. And you're going to see different stave profiles. So if you like or want to try the stave profile I tried, the 52120, yeah, let it be your next uh, bourbon. Uh, let it be your next purchase. Because you may not find this stave profile. You may find a different stave profile. And I say, well, look at it and you know be your own judge. I love this particular stave profile, but it may not be in your store. So I'm saying level two, your next purchase, go to the store, look at the stave profiles. Usually they have more than one and pick the one you think that you want to try. Now, if you pick the 52120, I'm telling you, this is some good shit. I don't normally cuss on YouTube, but this is good shit. It really is. Uh, and it's worth every penny that I paid for it. So, level two recommendation, solid. Uh, I'm going to be enjoying the crap out of this bottle and trying to uh, get it down low enough to when we have our 500 subscriber that I'm ready for something altogether new because those that gift set is is all different stay profiles so that'll be really interesting in my bourbon education what the staves do for the flavor so tonight uh, I'm very happy that we decided to crack this puppy open and let you know about it this is really really good bourbon so please as always never drink and drive always drink responsibly and we'll see you next time this could be your new foobar avoidance celebration